guys, and welcome to Studio 50 Floor. <laughs> uh, we're back inside my little studio today, the little tough shit studio. It's super crazy windy outside again, so, and I really wanted to paint. I haven't painted in a couple days. So, um, today we are testing out some colors on a bigger canvas, and let me show you those colors, because they're really, really pretty. This one that we're working today is Red Ochre by Artists Loft. Beautiful color. It is leaving a mound on a mound. My paints are mixed with Liquitex gloss medium and varnish and some water and some Floetrol. No water today though actually. This Floetrol was thinner than the other bottles I've had lately. But this one is Artist Loft Red Ochre. Very pretty color. I like it a lot. New one for me. So after that we are using this one is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White with some Satin Enamels Pure White in there. And this one is just mixed with Floetrol. So this one I'm not really intending to use inside the pour. I have it mixed up for a background color in case we need a flow extender. The next one we have is Golden's Van Dyke Brown. Very, very I mean, pretty color. You guys know how much I love this. This looks like, like chocolate pudding. <laughs> it's just delicious, like espresso or something. Ah, love it. So it is leaving a little mound on a mound and I actually added some more paint to it because it felt really thin to me before. So like I said, this bottle of Floetrol is thinner than usual, but because everything is the same consistency, we'll probably be okay. I'm not going to go with counting on doing any like really tight ring pours or anything though with this paint. Now this one is Decor Americana Decor Metallics in my favorite 24 karat gold. See, that's the mound on a mound on a mound that I'm used to. Kind of thick and, you know, substantial. <laughs> that, those feel a little watery today. So this one is, the next one is Decor Americana Decor Metallics. This one is Champagne Gold. And it is a beautiful color. It dries so pretty. This one feels a tiny bit thinner too. But still it is leaving a little mound on a mound on a mound. So the next one we're using is Naples Yellow from Artist Loft. So this is a very pretty color, and I have mixed this one with most some of my white, the uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White with the Satin Enamels, just to lighten it just a touch. It's a beautiful color though, nice and buttery, very soft, very pretty, not like in your face neon yellow, just a, a very, very pale, beautiful color. Nice. I, I really like that one a lot. Okay, so the next one is Prussian Blue from Goldens. Love this one. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Nice mound on a mound on a mound. Leaves a trace. So that's good. That's a good consistency. And the next one we have is Golden's Deep Turquoise. Not deep turquoise, just turquoise. As opposed to their light turquoise, which is more like their teal, which is very, very light. So anyway, this is turquoise. Beautiful color. Leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. All right, so let's layer our cup. Like I said, I'm not using the white in the pour. Oh, I have one more thing to show you. This beautiful thing is my birthday present. <laughs> Iridescent copper from Golden's High Flow Acrylics. This is the good stuff. This is the magic. <laughs> Fractal making amazingness. So we might add some of this before or after. I have some ideas of what I might want to do with that. So we'll see. Okay, so let's start. Um, I want to actually start with some of that buttery Naples yellow. And then I'm going to put some of the champagne gold in. And then we're going to go with our turquoise. It's such a gorgeous color. And then some of our regular gold. And then I want to use the red ochre. Go into our Van Dyke Brown now. And we're going to go back to the Champagne. And a little bit of the gold. And let's use some turquoise. And some Prussian blue. Put 
some compression glue in next. And then again with our Van Dyke Brown. Let's see, some more of the yellow. Some turquoise. So, this one is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. Alright. So, what do we want to put down as a background? I think I want to put down a little bit of this Van Dyke Brown. And I'm going to go across this way. And then, I'm going to put some champagne in the middle of that. Now, this is where I want to use some of that iridescent copper, and I'm just going to make a line across the side, on each side. Okay. Alright, now we're ready. <laughs> Let's pour this. figured out when I'm pouring it, if I just go fast, it makes one effect, but if I kind of go slow and let it make a puddle, and then sort of push through that puddle, there's a lot more effects that happen. So, then that worked out perfect. <laughs> really can't ask for better than that. Okay, that's kind of awesome. I'm going to give that a second to develop. I love what's happening in here with that champagne gold. Very pretty. And these are beautiful cells, these turquoise ones. And this like red ochre lacing on top of the gold is gorgeous. Let's give it a torch. There's a lot of air bubbles. Take that white. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit of gold around it first, around the edges. Just because I don't mind if it slides around on top of the gold, because that'll create some pretty cells for us. I'm not putting a ton, just you know, enough for it to roll on. Okay, I'm going to put some white on the sides now. Because I want this to be able to slide easy to cover these edges. And this is just Floetrol insurance. <laughs> okay. Let's spread this out. Alright, let's see. I really like this part. I love that part. Not so crazy about that. So guess which way we're gonna go. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this edge and kind of go over the edge. So it's sort of anchored there a little bit. And we're going to go down that way just a bit first. So you can tell we're on the sides where it's moving. That's where that high flow was. Now we're getting to our... very fluid. It's a very different texture. Well, maybe that wasn't the best idea, but you know, it's turning out pretty cool.
hard. There's everything. There's a very thin consistency. On the other hand, it may turn out really cool. Sorry, it's not gonna work for me. I'm gonna just tilt it for a minute and get as much paint off of here as possible and then I'm gonna pour on top of it. So, note to self, don't stick something that's super thin consistency around all your other paints or in the middle of all your other paints because if you look in the, the beginning of this, when I first tilted it, you saw the sides start to run a lot instead of everything moving uniformly. And that was because I put the high flow under there. And there was a lot of white around it. So, okay. I'm just going to sit here for a second and let this come off. But it's still perfectly good as a base coat. And the cool thing about this is that the edges, like this edge is really beautiful over here. This whole side is actually really cool. To me, what that means is that I don't actually have to worry about covering that corner if I don't want to. Actually, this is getting really pretty in here. That's beautiful. Okay, I have an idea. All right, here's my cup. I'm gonna push that a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint in here. I can hear the wind outside. <laughs> it's kind of cool though. I love it. Insanely gusty and it makes everything really cold, but it's kind of exhilarating. I should love this time of year. Everything's just starting to bud and spring is just around the corner and like first daffodils pop up and all of a sudden tree bursts into bloom. There's an almond tree here that just like opened up overnight. It was so cool. I wasn't expecting it at all. <laughs> Boom! It was great. Okay. So we're gonna go across. And I'm not doing any like puddle of gold or anything underneath this time. I'm just gonna go straight across. Okay, here we go. Since this is the same consistency, it's all going to move more uniformly than last time. So, gosh, that's so pretty. Look in there. Can you get a close up of this part? I love this too. They're really, really cool. That's all, that wave is all moving pretty much the same speed. Let it ride. Love that part, it's amazing. I'm not crazy about that. I kinda wanna take some of it off. Turquoise is so pretty. And there's red ochre, it's a really cool color. I'm really happy about it. Okay. 
very cool. I like it. Yay! to the center. I think that's done. So I don't like this white corner. Okay, I love this part. I'm gonna wipe my hands so I don't drip in it. I love this part over here. It's amazing. That's so gorgeous. Oh my god. Wow. So the red ochre mixed with the gold is kind of acting like copper. Which is why I'm like having my copper obsession <laughs> reactions. <laughs> but this is really beautiful in here. This is really cool. And it's awesome how it's kind of on that turquoise background with the Prussian blue in there. I get a little bit of the Van Dyke brown through here. Still not crazy about that corner. It's better. Okay. I love these little bubbles and cells that are coming up. Very cool. Very cool. I don't want to torch it because. It's already got a lot of cells, and if I torch it, we might get those little white air bubbly things, which I don't really want, so they'll pop. It's cool. Okay, so this was awesome. I'm happy about this. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. I will show you when it's dry. See you soon. Okay, so this is the next day. It's not completely dry, but it's getting there. But look at how amazing this is. This is so cool. Lovely cells in here. Turquoise and the gold, champagne and the gold together, the 24 karat. I'm so happy I used both of those. Really pretty. I love that section with the Van Dyke brown. And these cells are just amazing. I love this work. So pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I really like the turquoise in this. And that Prussian blue, this part's beautiful where you can see the turquoise and the Prussian blue together. And then here too, I love this edge. Very pretty. Lots of good movement, lots of flow, interest. Those cells add a lot of interest to the center. Really, really cool. I love this part up here. That's just gorgeous. So that's this one. Very, very cool. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, Studio 54. It's so cold here in LA right now. <laughs> it's like 46 all day. So I was hiding in the studio yesterday. Anyways, if you want to see more of my stuff, you can check it out on Mina Villegas Art on Facebook. You can also check out my Etsy shop. And um, let's see. That's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you for the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.